Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of With Little Help from Max for Life. And this time we're going to look at another free device by Dylan Bassan, the Markov Variations to be precise, which is a Max for Life audio effect. And it adds new functions to the new Life 11 feature of the macro variations. And we're going to have a look at this today. So the first thing we have to do when we drag it into a track is to tell it where it's located. Parent would mean that it's located within side of a rack, which is not the case for us right now. Our rack is to the left of the device. And if the rack is not recognized, which it is, as we can see, because we've got four circles for the macro variations, just like we do in the rack, then if that's the case, we can press reload. So now we can just play it back and to try it out. And one option we have is we can just click here on next, which automatically also creates a transition. And this is determined by the transition glide settings. So either in note measures if sync is on or free in milliseconds. And we can also add a bit of randomness to the glide or transition. Or we can use the transients and the threshold setting to determine when transitions should happen. We've got lots of transients, so we could increase the threshold, but it's still quite quick. That might be great to have in certain circumstances, but this is not what I want right now. And then another alternative that we have is that we can set it to auto, which means it would change uh, in a specific interval, which right now is set to four bars. So either synced in note measures or free in milliseconds. And here we can also add a little bit of randomness to it when a change should occur in percentage. Just briefly, this is variation one, two, three, four. And then I could also create a new variation and we would see this turn up. And what we can also see in the graphical interface is which variation is most likely to be next. So the more colorful, the more likely it is that it will jump to this variation and the less color, the less likely it will be to go to this variation. So I'm going to get rid of the last variation. And here at the bottom, we can change the color if we don't like the colors right now. Okay, and here we could clear everything, which would mean that they refer to it to themselves and the other probabilities are gone. So I could either change the setting by drawing things in with a mouse or I could randomize things. This would have been just for the selected variation and if we want to do it for everything then we and last but not least, here we've got the possibility to set a standard variation. Right now it's set to the second one. And then the st standard variation could be privileged, there'd be bias to it for it. So here it's set to 25%, which would mean it's played at least 25% of the time. And then last but not least, we've got spray, which means that the um, parameter settings that we've saved in the different variations could be slightly you know increased or decreased so that gives a bit more randomness and variation as well and so we can just play around with this this one seems stuck referring to itself all the time or we could increase the transition speed quite a bit as well I'm going to turn auto off and just click on next instead. Yeah, as you can hear, you can achieve quite interesting results with this. This would be very useful in live performances or in music production. We could automate this 
or resample and then decide which parts we like best as an idea. This is a trick that I use quite often to kind of enhance my music. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until hopefully next time, see you then. Bye.